Today I'll be unboxing two new 3D printers that I got. These are longer LK4 3D printers. I think they've been around for a while, probably a few years. Um, I found them on eBay for about 150 bucks, brand new, or you can get them on Amazon for $300 brand new, kind of a big price difference. Not really sure why. But anyway, um, I got two of them. I have five 3D printers already. For those of you guys who will watch my channel, uh, I have a little 3D printing business. And um, so the, these are number six and seven for me. And I'm doing that because I'm gonna start hiring a couple of helping hands um, with printing. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I'll just be unboxing the one 3D printer today since they're exactly the same thing. Um, I just got them earlier today. So let's get it opened up. The box that they came in, they both came in the same box and it had blue uh, tape all around the outside. Um, most stuff that I get from China, that I import from China has like yellow tape, but it looks kind of like Chinese tapes. I don't know, it's kind of funny. I think it was probably shipped like that. Anyway, this came from California though, so it only took a few days to get here. There we go. Hopefully you can see that all right. So we got some styrofoam. Nice. I got a little uh, adapter and micro SD card. That's nice. I didn't know that it would come with that. Honestly, I really didn't know what to expect. Um, I didn't look into it too much. I just thought it was a really good deal. <laughs> it doesn't have anything on it. It doesn't say the capacity or anything for the micro SD card, whatever. Um, we got some zip ties. We got a little piece of sample gray filament. That's not very much filament. Kind of an ugly color too, but I won't be using it probably. Um, got some silica gel, a nice little spatula. That'll be good for scraping the prints off of the bed. Um, here we have an instruction manual, a thanks letter, that's what it says. And we got the print bed. That might not want to come out yet. It feels like it's attached. So I'll take out the frame. And this is a nice aluminum extrusion frame. Um, I'm guessing this is for the bed because I saw on the listing that it had, that this side has the extrusion, whatever you call it, the slots, I guess, um, filled in so that it's not, I do have a bigger 3D printer right now and it does uh, have just like little shreds of plastic to fill in this area. So that'll be kind of nice. So I'll set that down over here and probably take the styrofoam out next. Oh no, let's see, we got a, we have one little all thread rod and we'll take that styrofoam. There we go. Okay, and there's the rest of the printer. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. So, uh, this is supposed to be 90% pre-assembled doesn't look quite 90% pre-assembled to me. Um, I'd say maybe like 70, <laughs> especially because it's got these end stops and stuff that aren't even put on it yet. So yeah, maybe pushing 70%. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's the, uh, the LCD screen. It's a touch screen, kind of a smallish screen for a printer this size, um, but it'll probably be just fine. This is, for holding the filament spool on top of the printer, I believe. Here we've got, maybe that doesn't want to come out yet. I can probably take the, let's see. Here we have a stepper motor. That's probably for the Z axis or the up and down motion. So that will have to be assembled. Um, and here we've got the print bed and the power supply already put together, so that is nice. And it looks like it's wired to this other piece here, so that all needs to come out at the same time. <clears throat> if I can do that without hurting it. There we go. So there is the, that's the Y and 
x-axis, I'm guessing. Yes, because this will go up and down like that. Okay, and that has the extruder too, so it'll be facing that way. You can see the extruder in the nozzle right there. Okay, there we go. Now we got the box out of the way. So uh, here we have the whole printer, all the components, pieces here on the table. Um, I guess I have some zip ties and stuff on the ground still, but so this is the print bed. That's the size of the print bed. So it's about 20 centimeters squared, um, which is about the size of my ANET A8 3D printer. Uh, looks like what I thought was for the base is actually for the Z axis or the up and down. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm guessing that'll be mounted right there. So that's about what it'll look like. And this will be on it just like, uh, <laughs> there we go. Just like that. It'll probably be mounted behind it. No, it'll be mounted on the front just like that. Okay, cool. Anyway, that's the basic idea of what comes in the kit and uh, the amount of assembly required. I'll be making another video about how to assemble it. So make sure you watch that video if you're curious about it. But thanks you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I do videos about 3D printing frequently and I also uh, show business ideas and things like that related to 3D printing and do-it-yourself type of stuff. So thanks you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video if it helped you out and we will see you in the next one.